video, I want to show you how to use Adobe Cooler. It's a great way to help you work with some of the color rules to come up with a nice theme for your own website or even print work. And I like that it gives you both the hexadecimal code and the RGB. My favorite way to use this is to grab a color from an image. So I'm just going to grab an image here. And it will grab different colors from the image, and then I can choose different options. Bright, muted, deep, dark, custom. And here I can actually drag and choose the pieces of color that I want to use. And then I can save it. Now to save it, you're going to have to log in. If you, It's free, um, so you should create an account if you don't have an Adobe account. Oh, they made me reset my password. There we go. So once you have logged in, you can then save it. And I'm going to choose private. I do almost all of mine as private. Um, and that's pretty much all I need to do there. And I'm going to go to edit. And this is my favorite portion. I actually will usually do a screen print of this because it gives me the hexadecimal colors. Now I can start. Now I can pick the most important color here. And I can choose to make this the main color. I can play with the color themes here based on that as the main co uh, color. So it will sort of coordinate with the image. You can also go in and customize, spin them a little bit. If you do custom, you can take each spot here until you're happy. You can move them around and go into various options, compound, complementary. And then when you have one that you've got set up, you can use either the RGB or the hex decimal codes inside of Dreamweaver or Optana to set your colors. So let's say I like this color here and I want to use it. Actually, I like this one. Now, you would want to save this if, the, if you were happy with it. I'll already save it as Nessie. Save changes. You can download it as an ASE file. That's important if you're doing print. It doesn't really work in Dreamweaver, so I'm not going to get into how to do that. But I can copy this. And then in Dreamweaver, let me go back into Dreamweaver. If I was working with any of my CSS codes, I could put this in with a hashtag in front of it, and that would change my background color here. Now, in Dreamweaver, you also have the option, when you're working with the code view, I like that it makes it very easy for you to just pick a color. And you can pick anything you want. Make sure you hit your semicolon, and it will apply right away. Now, if I wanted to take this, I'm just going to take this um, sheet over into Optana. I'll show you how it works there. Because if you're creating a style sheet in Optana, it pretty much works the same way as in Dreamweaver once you're into it. There's a few things we're going to do. Let's say that we're working, we'll just add a new sheet. I'm just going to, um, we'll just add it at the top level. So we're going to choose File, New, File, and we're going to put it in here. This is just where I'm playing around. And we'll call it Styles. CSS. 
and here it'll give you a blank page. All you really need to do is have your care set UTF-8. This is a comma, the CSS document. But I want to show you that they are also helpful with um, picking colors and things like that. So if I want to pick colors in Optana, it gives you some default that you've used in here. Or you have insert color. And then you have different options here, grayscale. And it's hanging a little. And it has web safe colors. It used to be really important, not as important now. Crayons, this is my one of my favorite views because these are nice bright Crayola type colors. Developer. Apple, those are just some existing app, um, palettes. You can create a new palette of your own if you want to use a palette for your page. You can use the full spectrum, select whatever you want. This is, I love the crayon view. And then you can pick a palette or make a new palette there. So let's just say I like the crayon view, eggplant. And when I close it, that'll appear, put that in, and if I had this attached to a sheet, it would work. But they do make it easy for you to find the colors. You don't need to know the um, hexadecimal code, but if you want them to coordinate and pick a good theme that goes together, Cooler's a good place to start. And then you can just drop your code in. So that's how you're going to pick your CSS colors. Again, Dreamweaver and Optana both make it easy for you to get those hexadecimal numbers.